government believes society has a duty of care to those who've served their country, some of whom may have been psychologically damaged by their experiences in the heat of battle. Now ministers want to extend that duty to those servicemen and women who find themselves on the wrong side of the law. It's estimated that up to 4% of the prison population is made up of former service personnel, but there are no official figures. From next January, every prisoner entering custody will be asked if they've been in the forces. If the answer is yes, the prisoner will be obliged to give them specific help during their sentence. The truth is today we don't know how many there are, we don't know who they are, and I want to see us deploy the services of government, the support of government and the voluntary sector, the specialist charities, in trying to make sure we help those people turn their lives around. While they serve time inside, help will also be given to their families on the outside. But critics of the new policy believe it's wrong to single out veterans for special treatment. They've picked a very emotive subject of one particular cohort that's in prison. Uh, the, the issues are mental health issues predominantly. That stretches across the 85,000 people within British prisons today. You can't just single out one group. The, the need is acute and we need a strategic approach that affects everybody, not just one group. The government says only a minority of veterans are convicted of a crime. It insists the armed covenant means they deserve every chance to make a fresh start. John Brain, BBC News.